One of the key elements of our mission is producing quality beers, but also to grow our own beer production. The craft brewery is basically a tenth of the size of the main plant. We're only producing between 10 and 15 barrels. So at that scale, we can experiment with new brews. We can try more things out. Without it, we would be limited to maybe two or three trial brews a year. We're doing trial brew every week. It seems to me, I think we've done 14 different beers, and I think as a company, I'm not sure if we've done 14 different beers in the last 10 years. We had some customers who've drank bitter since they were 18, probably younger, <laughs> and, and, and they will not try anything else. But they are bitter drinkers. It's not to, to replace Brains Bitter, but as the world's changing, people want to try new things. The younger Cascale groups want to experiment more. I think drinkers just want something different now, and the breweries have to adapt to that. Cask beer is seen as a traditional drink. So if you want to appeal to a different market, a new market, a younger drink, you've got to adapt that. So by having a craft beer and producing it not just as a real ale, but also producing keg beers on that and of course bottled beers, with that you are appealing to all different markets there with that same branding. We wanted to make sure that what we produced in the craft brewery was distinctly Brains. So, you know, it is branded Brains. We're proud that these beers are coming from Brains. But also we wanted it to stand out to be slightly different from our main core range. If we do get that recipe right and it just nails it, it's just a gorgeous beer and it flies out, then there's no reason why we can't scale that up. And so simply making 15 barrels, we do 150 barrels and we put it through the entire estate. So we have that potential to upscale. One of the very early beers we did, which has captured the imagination, both in the, the flavour of the beer and the name, is Barry Island IPA. And already we've been able to produce a larger batch in the main brewery and bottle that beer on a larger scale. Um, and that's gone into Tesco stores nationwide. I enjoy your craft beers. I, I enjoy going out trying to find them in the pubs there. Um, I do have my favourites. Some are better than others. It's all each to their own with the flavours they've got there. And if they can reproduce as good as beers next year as they've done this year, it's something to look forward to for next year. It's great to see kind of people following on Twitter and wanting to know where the next craft brewery is. Um, they actually, instead of you trying to tell them, oh, we're selling this, we're selling this, they're coming to you saying, when are you selling this, when are you selling this. It's a nice novel experience to have them come to you. Feeding the customer's demand, getting feedback from that customer and making sure that we're, we're delivering a product that the customer wants will deliver the overall company vision. Creation leads to enthusiasm, it leads to pride and becomes infectious and, and that follows down to the staff then. So when you're talking about beer, you're talking about it with enthusiasm because you're proud of this new product you've done. The guys in the plant have tasted quite a few of the beers. Traditional beer drinkers have turned around and tasted one of our fruity IPAs and given it the thumbs up. Um, didn't think they would do, um, but it actually just shows how there's a beer out there for everybody.